So I think the journalists can do not recognize that there's a link between the anti-gay bill and the possibility of the government infringing on media, um, media freedom and freedom of expression. Because in those moments, people are blinded by their homophobia. Because if you, you just have to sort of go through the bill and realize that even in this bill, this bill provides room for infringement on media freedom and expression. There's a part where it says if you basically report on LGBTQI stories, you are liable to arrest or a fine. That's how it starts. So somebody gets attacked in any part of this country. They get killed or just basically attacked. They, let's say they don't get killed. What the bill is saying is that you cannot, as a media house, report on this assault on a Ghanaian life. That's what they're saying. And that's dangerous. That's a clear infringement on media freedom, which should be clear to everybody. But we are sort of caught in this moment where people are, people are incapable of critiquing their faith their beliefs or isolating their beliefs and looking at the thing clearly and saying actually this is dangerous this provides room for a government to come in and beyond this point extend its powers of censoring the media and censoring journalists already there have been instances in this country that point as to an authoritarian you know streak in the current government for instance and if we were you know the people or journalists that were supposed to be we would we would fight with peer people we'll fight alongside peer people against this bill that's what we should be doing mm -hmm.